Good morning, blessed people. I hope that you're having an awesome Monday morning. Welcome to Beginner Coloring with Amanda. Uh, this is the 30th of November. Uh, lots of videos to take place today, so I apologize if beforehand for blowing up your notifications today. Um, I will be doing a haul video for my month of November, as well as a completed pages for November. And also, I have several book reviews to do as well, just to kind of wrap up everything for November, get ready for December, have a fresh start, clean start, and have everything going um, good and um, fresh. So, with that being said, if you have subscribed, I want to thank you so much for the ones that have subscribed. It means the world to me. You guys are helping me reach my goals and helping me make my dreams come true of having a YouTube channel um, of coloring and, and being able to show others how to do things and to show my collections and my hauls and my completed pages and things like that. So I do thank you all so much for subscribing. We will still be giving away a giveaway at 100 um, followers, so keep that in mind. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the bell at the bottom. Um, that will let you know when I post new videos as well as um, when I'm posting um, to the page. And if you have subscribed, you like what you're seeing and you like the content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the haul video for November. I'm going to start with the media first. And then um, go into the books. So the first thing I got was this little storage box. And the reason that I got the storage box was I had bought some divers um, for my um, dis distressed inks. So, I thought that what I would do is I would either put my new ones in this box or I'd put my used ones in this box so I could keep up with it and label it which color they was so that I could use the same one and um, not get them confused. So, that is my little storage box. Next up, I got some color stick, color slicks, no mess soft crayons. Um, they're supposed to be smooth and easy to go on, and these are shimmery glitters. So I thought they would be good for like angel wings or backgrounds. Um, I haven't actually tried them yet. They come. I got them off of an app that I use. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how they look. Next, I bought some um, Jelly Roll. I got the Moonlight Tin that has the neon yellow, the neon orange, the brighter orange, the pink, and the green in it. I bought a unicorn book, and I thought this would be good um, for a lot of the brighter colors for the unicorn um, book itself. I also bought some distressed crayons instead of the distressed inks. I bought the crayons. I myself tend to like these a little better. Um, I just take them and I draw it on um, the dabber and then I dab it on the paper. Or you can draw it on the paper and then dab running around on the paper with the dabber either one. But I think they tend to be less messier than the distressed inks are. So I'm going to get some. I've got them in my wish list um, to get some pastels of these. That way I'll have some pastels and some colored ones as well. Um, but yeah, I really like the distressed crayons. They are, they are definitely an awesome thing to have. Um, and next up, 
Uh, a colorist would not be a colorist without Posca pens. And I caught them on sale. Buy one, get one half off. So I went ahead and I bought some black ones. Um, I bought several black ones because I used them for the backgrounds. And then I bought a metallic gold, a metallic silver. I bought pink and blue, orange, and I think this is brown, I believe. Yes, dark brown. So, um, I got me some Posca pins as well. We got that took care of. Next up, I don't have them in the tin. This is just the tin. But I did purchase the Blick 72 kit. Um, let me go ahead and raise that up a little bit so that you can see everything. I did purchase the Blick 72 set um, colored pencil kit. And I have them in my case. I will do a review on them as well when I get into doing my pencils. I um, so far I seem to to like them. Um, they're pretty blendable. Um, they're not too waxy, and um, they come in a really nice tray, so you wouldn't have to put them in a. Um, um, well, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. A um, binder, like a coloring pencil um, jacket. But I did because I like to keep all mine um, in zipper cases. Um, so that I can get to them and know where they're at. And I don't have to deal with these trays. Because a lot of times like this one. And shipping, it did, the shipping dented the lid. And the lid doesn't want to stay on. So that would cause the pencils to fall out easily. And I just don't want to deal with that, so I put them in, um, I put them in a case. But, they have, um, they have several sets. They have a 12 color set, a 24 color set, 36 color set, a 48 color set, and then of course the 72 color set. And it has listed all the colors on the back. I have already swatched these, um, so I will... Um, do a review on these though as soon as I get to the pencils on my videos. So next up is the coloring books that I have um, that I purchased. I know that I said last month that I had a big haul and I wasn't going to have a big haul this month. But uh, I did. I think I need to do like Danny Buttons and go on a no spending um for a few months because Lord have mercy I'm just uh coloring books is an addiction for sure and I see on other videos when I watch other people's haul videos I see other books and I'm like ooh I want that I gotta have it and so I end up buying it and then it's just it's constantly books revolving through the door so <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I need to go on a no spending spree for a few months. But, anyway, but to the books that I've gotten this month. Um, I picked up a couple of little dollar Christmas books. They just have some really cute pictures in them. Um, just, these are the ones that you can color with crayons. Just sit down and not really have to think about it. Just to, to color it. I did color that one. And that one. And this, this cute pictures that you can sit down and color and not have to think about. So I got that one. And I got this one. This one has more animals in it than the other one had in it. Real cute. So, I got those. I 
I found this one and it was on the shelf and it was only a dollar. I guess it was clenched out where they didn't have it anymore. Um, it's Amazing Grace by Bendon. And it's got some really cute scripture verses in it. Um, and if you see any of these that you want to see a complete flip through on, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Um, I don't have a problem doing a complete flip through. Then I got America Advanced Coloring. Um, this is by Bendon as well. They had put out some new books when I was in the dollar store the other day. And I grabbed all the new ones they had put out. So this one is just kind of a little bit of everything. That's America. Except it's cute food. Uh, Advanced coloring by Bendon. And it's just like it said, it's just food pictures. Um, ice cream, cookies, tacos, waffles, donuts. Next, I picked up Contemporary Color and Succulents. Um, it's a bending, and it does say that this can be a marker, watercolor, or pencil book down at the bottom. So that's one reason I picked it up. I just don't know that I would use watercolor on it because the paper does seem kind of thin. Um, you might could use, use it and not put a lot of water on it. But I just don't. I don't know that I would use watercolor on it because it's, it's just so thin. That's that one. Next up, I got a Relax and Accept the Crazy. And it's a bending book as well. Laundry today or naked tomorrow. It's about right. But it's just kind of things that um, just sarcastical things that you would say. Next up, I had gotten all of Nadia Vaskova, um, her books except for this one. I had not gotten the Magic Totem, um, but I bought some books off of a lady on Facebook, and she had this book in the set of books that I bought. So this completes my set of uh, Nadia Vasco's um, books. Next up is Cutopia um, by Vex. And this book is, it puts me a lot in the mind of Kirby Rosson's books. But it's just a little, it's larger and less um, detailed um, than, Kirby, than Kirby's are. Some of them are more detailed. I finally finished out my two books that I needed for Millie Marriott's uh, sets. I needed her Brilliant Beast and her Woodland um, Woodland Wild book. And I did go ahead and purchase those two. So that finishes out my set of hers. So I have all of her books. And we know Millie's style. Um, it's the detail, the very advanced detail. Um...
I've noticed though it seems like some of these are repeating. So I don't know that I may not buy the next book that comes out. I'm not sure because some of these I seems like I've seen them in her other books before. So um, I just don't want to keep buying something if they're repeating. And I'm pretty sure that there was a bat. I know there's a bat in one of these books that is in the other book. Um, I just don't know where it's at. This bat. Because I have thought about doing it. There's a color along on YouTube with it. And I thought about doing a color along with it. And I thought, uh, no, maybe not. So I know this bat is in another book of hers. So I really don't want to keep buying a book if it's just going to be repeats. Um, even if it's just a few pictures, it's still, um, I don't want to do that. So I may have to check and see if they're being repeated. And if they are, I may not buy the next one. This is the Millie Miata's Wildland Wild. This is her latest book. And same thing, same connection, um, same detailed drawing that she always does. Next up is a Choose Joy. I got these four books. Uh, Amazon was doing the buy three get for price of two. So I went ahead and got these three. I got the two um, Milia Murata books and this book um, in that buy three for two. This is Choose Joy, um, a coloring book of gratitude and wonder. And it is. Um, it has scripture in it with pictures. Just a really all in all pretty book with scriptures and um, flowers in it and different things in it. Next up, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I guess I could go ahead and open it. It's Million Mirror Animal Kingdom. I got the Book of Prints. I got it from Ollie's for two ninety nine. So I couldn't pass that up for that price. And this is just going to be. Um, the bigger prints to her images. It's just going to be single sided prints. So I'm going to pick that up. Next up, I picked up Tangle Bay. Well, actually, someone gave it to me. I didn't pick it up. A friend of mine gave it to me. Um, I had it once before, and I gave it away to somebody because I didn't feel like it was going to be a style that I was going to color. But she had it, and I was looking through it, and I thought, hmm, there's some pictures in here that I would might, might color. Um that I didn't pay attention to the last time that I had the book. So she was like, well, I'm just going to get rid of it. So if you want it, take it. So I took it. Because um, there are some pictures in here that I think I would color. Um, so, yeah. Next up, I bought Chibi Girls. A coloring book um, by Color Questopia. Um, 
to try out. I had never had any of their books, and I had them on sale for four ninety nine, I believe. So I went ahead and bought it. I do wish that I got the black background because this is my first book that I've gotten, and um, yeah, the no black lines, no black background thing um, is not something that I particularly like. So I definitely, um, my next book that I buy of theirs will be black background for sure. Um, but this is Chibi Girls. Really cute. It's still cute, even though it's going to take me a little longer to do with the black lines. This book I picked up for a friend that I'll be giving to her for Christmas. Um, it's a Christmas coloring book for adults. And it's just got different pictures in it. Um, ornaments, some Christmas ornaments, some angels. It has some stockings. It has some decorative pictures, um, window pictures. So just overall a Christmas book that has different images and things like that in it. That goes to her. And then this is the unicorn book that I picked up that I was talking about. It's a glow-in-the-dark um, coloring book by Ben Kifta. Um, and it is kind of like a pop manga um, style of book. It's the same setup, kind of like um, the Corilla, the pop manga books that are coming out now. Uh, but it's unicorns and just mystical creatures. And it glows in the dark. The only thing about the the glow in the dark that I found, which I'll list it when I do a review on the book. Um, if you're coloring a page that has the glow in the dark, um, like I did, I colored this page here um, that had the glow in the dark. And it is, that's what happened down here. You cannot color over the color in the dark portions it will not hold color um so you have to leave that as the neon color and not color over it and it does kind of mess up your picture a little because it's right on the lines like here it looks like the skin doesn't go all the way up to the line but that's the color in the dark line and it won't hold color when you color over it so um that's the only negative that I found to this book is the color in the dark like over here. Um, this unicorn's horn I couldn't do anything with because it's all color in the dark material and it won't let me color over it or anything. So um, that's the only thing negative that I found about it was the, the color in the dark um, wouldn't hold color. But I love the book. And if you want to see a complete flip through of it, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Next up, I picked up Camellia Angelkova's Winter Miniatures. Um, this book is so cute. It has so many cute pictures for winter and for Christmas in it. It has um, detailed images of birds, it has little lightning bugs, it has deer, it has reefs, it has cabins, it has huts, it has all kinds of different things. Um, that would be just adorable for holiday. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a cute book. Next up is a color and create greeting cards. I picked this up at Ollie's. I thought it would be cute to color your own greeting cards um, and give them to your friends for different things. Or just to color the pictures and have them for yourself. Next up, I picked up Island Escape by Jay Gideon. Um, I had the Rainforest Escape 
and the Carnival Escape. I need this one, and I need Thailand Escape. So I'm looking for Thailand Escape now, and that's the only one that I need to complete my set. Um, this paper is watercolor material paper that you can do watercolors on. Um, it is great paper quality. It's awesome material. Um, it has these huge fold, fold out pictures um, ever so often as well. Um, it, it's just all around an amazing book. All of these are amazing. Um, Jade Gideon done such a good job on um, these books and conveying um, the pictures as to help you to feel like you're there with him um, as as they're coloring. Um, so yeah, if you want to complete flip through, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Next up is Country Gardens Coloring Book, Bonus Seek and Find. Um, it's a coloring book, but it also has things that you can seek and find in it as well. Next up is Reflections, Birds and Animal Coloring Book. By Art House Design. This just has some kind of wild pictures of different animals. Some of them are not all wild, but some of them are. Next up is Super Villains. I've not even opened it yet either. I didn't want to open it because I was afraid the pages would fall out. Because I noticed when I was shopping, there was a couple that was open that the pages was falling out of the books. So I didn't want to be a book that got done that too. But we'll go ahead and open it now. This is a Crayola, Crayola Art with Edge book. And it has on the back the different pictures, but I don't think you could see them, so we'll flip through some of them. has really good thick paper. Um, they're good for framing. It's They come out. They're not, they're not sewed in. They're just glued in. And they have pretty good pictures. Um, good, good quality. Yeah, see, that's the reason that, see how they come out? They're just on a notepad and they want to come out. So that is Art with Ed DC Super Villains. The next one is Fantastic Beast. Same thing with this one. It has the paper that are glued in. And it just has the beast in it. Next up, I picked up a couple of bigger books. Uh, coloring books. This one's Friends Forever. Uh, color Tivia. Um, 
This one's precious moments, and it's just really cute pictures that can be colored with crayons or colored pencils. Just simple. Um, do while you're watching TV at night, or when you're not. Some something that you want that you just you don't have to think of it. You just you don't have to. Not that you don't have to think of it. You still have to think about it, but it's just. It's simple. It's back to the simple as a child coloring with crayons and you're not focused on color palettes and this color has to be here and that color has to be there and you know you got to shade this area and you got to shade that area. You're just simply coloring like you did as a child when it, when it was beginning to be fun. And it wasn't all complicated with the shadowing and the color contrast and all of that. So, just really cute, simple pictures to do that with. So, I got that one, which is the Precious Moments. And then I picked up also um, Crayola's um, World of Wonder. And it is also um, just the same thing. Just a bunch of pictures, big pictures that you can color with crayons. That is easy to color. Not a lot of thought to be put into it. And it's 400 pages. And the other one is 400 pages as well. So they're both pretty good size. Next up, I got Trolls Jumbo Coloring Activity and Coloring and Activity Book, Troll Life. And this just has pictures of the trolls in it, doing various things. Lights and listen to music. Next up, I got Christmas Fires by Jade Summer. So picked up a Mickey Jumbo Fun Activity Book. A goofy Donald Duck, Minnie, Mickey. This has the whole gang in it. And also picked up a Peanuts Jumbo Coloring Activity Book. It has Charlie Brown in it, it has Lucy, it has Linus, it has Snoopy. Up, I picked up the Crayola Art with Edge Get Surreal. It has 40 pages of various pictures, um, live pictures, different things, um, just surreal moments. That one up. I also picked up Art with Edge. Say what? Bold and Fearless. Next up, 
SF. I picked up Draw, Color, and Sticker Nature Sketchbook. This has 500 stickers in it, and it has coloring activities in it. Um, but it's really cute with the stickers that it has in it. Um, and you can color some of those stickers as well. Those are the stickers. So lots of stickers. And then here are the pictures. Next up is patterns. Immerse yourself in a world of creativity. And it's just patterns of different things. Bikes, buttons, vines, fish. You name it, it's a pattern. Just a few more to go. Next, I got Flowers of Faith. Next up is Fantasy Adventure. Dragons, dwarves, elves, and other extraordinary creatures. A comic book by Eric Messenger. And I give you a little idea at the bottom of how to color them too. That's some of them. They're all of them. Next up was Jungle Safari by Angela Van Dam. Except it's Hippie Animals from a Design Original book. Um, this has, um, this is from Tiny, Tiny McArdle. And she puts up some cute books as always. There's a little cow with a peace thing on. Fox. Bear. Peacock. Monkey. Frog. There's lots of cute pictures in here. Next up is Adult Coloring Springtime Flowers by Jade Summer. 